So this is a short video to talk about the problem of horizon lines in Maya. And one of the most common problems that junior animators face when they first start animating a shot is that you get you get the um, the problem of a flat horizon. Um, and this could be a big problem because but nothing makes CG animation look more CG than a bad horizon line. So this is a project which uh, I've been uh, which I was working on uh, as a, at a taster day to give students an idea of what animation is like. And you can see that I've got a very, very limited set here. All I've got is a is a single building um, and a bunch of graves. And, and that what that means is that if we position our camera here, for example, it's really going to look terrible because it's going to be abundantly clear that we've got this flat horizon uh, and the world falls off the edge of this. And no matter how big I make this, you know, if I, I mean, I can I can extend this horizon with this ground plane. And I can make it much bigger but it's still basically going to give me this flat horizon and if I try and render this you're you're gonna you're gonna render a horizon which essentially doesn't exist in nature except in the ocean and even then you know, there's gonna be something on the horizon most likely it certainly doesn't exist on land except maybe on prairies or in Kansas or Gobi deserts or places like that but it looks really unreal and and so you have to find ways in Maya to get around this problem and of course you know essentially this is all about camera imagine you're so you're on the set and of a, imagine you're on a mo an old movie set in say the Warner Brothers lot in Burbank you know one thing you can't do is point your camera at a telephone pole if you're shooting a Western because it's gonna look weird so you have to confine your camera to the area of the set that you feel comfortable in shooting so what I've done here is I've created this kind of fisheye lens with my camera and you can go into Maya and, and look at the um, camera properties. So if I select the camera and then um, uh, go Control A, it will pull up the attribute editor. And I can go ahead, I can go in here and I can change the um, uh, the uh, aperture on the on the lens, uh, the focal length. Um, you can change it to a wide angle lens or a narrow lens and do all kinds of fun things there. But here, what I've done is I've arranged the graves so that so that the um, they and actually I kind of need to move this one over here so that the graves are blocking the horizon line so that creates the illusion that there isn't a kind of flat horizon here I mean, another thing I could do if I didn't want to do that is I could multiply I could include other buildings so we could make this set much bigger we could include trees we could we could add hills but that all takes time and it slows down your shot um, and there's nothing particularly wrong with it. I mean, you can do all of that, but what you don't ever want to do is is have a camera that that looks like this, because unless you're um, you're uh, going for a particularly uh, unusual look, like say an Andrew Wyeth painting, uh, you know, because Wyeth was into his um, his flat horizons and creating his sense of loneliness, usually that doesn't really work in Maya. So it's very important to do whatever you can to not have these flat horizons. And you've got to do that either by adding hills and trees um, or adding extra buildings or confining your camera to a view that you want the audience to see. Another thing you can do, uh, another clever trick, is to, um, is to use lighting um, so that you, uh, in effect, um, cover up where you only light the bit of the set that you that you want to light. Another thing you can do is you can you can go into um, vertex mode, and you can um, move these vertices up to create a ramp, so that when you're looking at the uh, front of the set, the ramp rises up behind it, and that will again cut off your horizon. So that's another thing you can do. But whatever you do, you want to avoid a flat, endless horizon in Maya because it screams 3D and it screams fake and you don't want it in your animation.